This time we are going to discuss a very interesting topic as how to make a predictable reduction in case if patient has, for example, protrusion of teeth or rotation. So how to remove this extended part of the teeth to make predictable reduction to make enough space for the restoration and to have good results. Let's go. Dear friends, dear colleagues, we're happy to see you again in a new episode of BG Dental Tips. And this time our topic will be dedicated to veneer preparations in case if patient has, for example, protrusion or rotation and how to make predictable reduction in such cases. So tips and tricks will be shown in a very detailed and uh, I will show you just one of the methods to make this kind of uh, a reduction in a predictable way. Because we have multiple options when patient has protrusion or rotation. A new dental technician makes um, like equilibration of the teeth digitally when he makes or she makes the digital wax up. So he brings teeth into the aesthetic curve Okay, does the wax up and gives the wax up for you. So in between you will do the mock-up to start preparation these teeth. You will have to pre-cut patient's teeth, these extended parts, to do the mock-up and to go for the preparation. And for this we can use multiple options, such as you just prep as you want, which may be not predictable enough. Then your dental technician can provide you a prep guide, can be printed, can be handmade, like a prep copying, so you use it wrap it and you have everything done or uh, the option that I'm going to discuss with you will be a wax up and the, the printed model for the mock-up with reduction and without reduction. Before we continue that I would like to kindly remind you to uh, sign up to our YouTube channel to follow us to put likes and to share this video with your colleagues because I'm pretty sure that these kind of videos will help you and us actually to become better in our daily workflows. Okay, so I would like to introduce you this interesting uh, slide and to explain you what is that. So first thing that we can see here is a mock-up or actually this is the wax up with reduction where patient's teeth are in a straight position. And here you can see the wax up and some patient's teeth are exposed through the wax up. So we, this is what we call wax up without reduction. The case that I'm going to present you is the full mouth rehabilitation and the uh, patient has uh, had uh, the front teeth a bit protruded. So according to our treatment planning and treatment goals, we had to retrocline a bit of the lower incisors to get better occlusion and function afterwards. Okay, so we have to make this kind of preparation. So what we can do in such a cases? Since we have the model without reduction, just this one, the number two, the model without reduction, okay? So we can use silicon index from this model for the mock-up and this uh, silicon index will fit the patient's mouth because the patient still has these uh, protruded uh, parts of the patient's teeth. Because for example, if we are going to have the uh, uh, silicon index for, for the mock-up from this model, we will be not able to deliver the mock-up to the patient's mouth because in this model everything is pre-carded by dental technician, okay? So what we do, uh, from the model number one, we will use silicon index, uh, but this silicon index will be used for temporary restorations once the preparations will be finished. Okay, and the, from the first model, we are going to use silicon index for preparation control. From the second model, we will use silicon index for the mock-up, and we are going to prep these protruded teeth through the mock-up. Uh, let me show you how it looks like to make it more uh, clear for you. So that's the uh, initial situation, let's say, before the mock-up. And here is the mock-up itself. And uh, you can see here that we have exposed patient's teeth showing through this mock-up, okay? So logic-wise, what we are going to do in, in that particular case is that to pre-cut these extended parts of the patient's teeth to the level of the mock-up, and that will be our zero position. And then we take depth cutter and we start to give space for dental technician to have good results with final restorations. This is how it looks on the video. So we, we provided a mock-up and you can see exactly how these uh, exposed teeth look like. And then as I told you, we use uh, a bore to do equilibration or pre-cut initial preparation, if you want to say, until the level of the mock-up, that's the important part. 
So that's our zero position, and from the zero position, we have to give the space to our dental technician. So we use depth cutter, okay? The size of the depth cutter, we are going to select according to the space uh, to give to the dental technician. Sorry, uh, I will go back to the previous slide and uh, repeat the video, I don't know why it stopped. So let's take a look again. So here we have uh, a pre-cut option. You can use any bore you want. In this case, we use our uh, 016 bore from the preparation set which you can find in uh, our uh, online store, uh, belograd.com. Uh, and uh, here we have uh, online store. You can go there and see our bore block for preparations. Okay, so here we did um, depth cuts. Then we mark everything with a pencil. Then we remove mock-up. And after removing the, of the mock-up, we'll be able to see where we need to cut. So basically in this particular case, we were more or less aggressive in a, incisal part of the teeth, but in the cervical part you can see that we are pretty uh, good in terms of the space. So we are additive in a cervical and the middle part and a bit invasive, let's say, in the incisal area of the teeth. So we started to prep the teeth with the mock-up and then we finish all our preparations. So this is the final result. Uh, as you can see, there are still conservative preparations for porcelain and veneers. Uh, guided by the uh, mock-up from the non-reduced uh, model of the, with the wax-up. And this is how it looks like from the uh, occlusal view, if you want to say. And here is the final result after ceramic restorations were bonded after wax. Okay? So I hope that was pretty understandable and this tip will be used uh, uh, in your daily practice. I would like uh, to remind you one more time to put like to this video because the algorithms of uh, YouTube work like that. The uh, more likes we will get, the more people will be able to see our content and we more motivation we will have to continue with this uh, useful and practical content to share with you, my friends, to make dentistry better all together. Stay in touch and may the dental force be with you.